what led you to believe that David could be a good governor? Well, I, I didn't know David could be a good governor, but I knew his character. I, I knew his work ethic. I knew his uh, ability to learn how to do things, uh, really pay the price. I had watched him, and uh, I I just told David, I says, you know, no, I won't support you running for lieutenant governor, but if you'll run for governor, I'll be all in, 100%. And that, that I, not, I don't think I help help make that decision but it was the right decision for David I think he made us an excellent governor he made the right decision in regards to the confederate flag and paid quite the political price he did were you did you know David had made that call did you I mean David clearly understand the political consequence yeah. of making that decision I mean I, I emphatically stand by the decision oh, I he do. made it, it, you know the state was David would call me. At that time, I had retired from Congress, and I was working in Washington, and David would call while he was in the governor's office, and we'd talk periodically. And this issue was just driving him bonkers. And the problem was it was hurting the state. Uh, it was hurting us economically. It was hurting us from a public relations standpoint. And it was one of those things that had to be dealt with. And the sooner the better. And and frankly, <clears throat> David wanted to do the right thing for so, so many reasons, and including some people found that flag offensive. And if a, enough of, a, or if a, a segment of our population finds something flying on our state house offensive, take it down. Robin, I always felt that it was not a sovereign flag. I don't want to, I don't want to skirt our history and I, and I respect our history and I respect the Confederacy. I mean, I think there's a lot of misunderstanding about the Civil War and what happened there. We're not going to get into that, but, but I, I just, I just felt that if something were perceived to be divisive and it was not a sovereign flag, then let's put in a museum. Let's, let's continue to respect our past, respect our future, yeah. respect our role in the founding of our nation. I think David made the absolute yeah. uh, best decision he did. at that time. He did. And, uh, again, he made it for, for all the right reasons. But at that time, I think David understood one other thing, too. It, it had to do with his future. Uh, David had the potential to be on a, a vice presidential ticket, and who knows where that might have led. And he did not need that, just like the state didn't need the Confederate flag wrapped around us, keeping us from being progressive, making progress, doing the things that we could do. It worked for David's benefit in that light. Now, it didn't help a darn bit trying to get reelected governor. 